Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. I'm going to show you guys how to use eye tracking on iOS 18 or later today. So let's get started. Alright guys, so in order to use eye tracking on iOS 18 or later is, first thing, you'll need to have an iPhone 12 or later for this to work. If you guys have an iPhone 10R, 10S, 10S Max, or 11 model, this will not work. And yes, I am on iOS 18 beta 1 here. There we go. All you need to do is go to accessibility, go down to eye tracking. And yes, iPads do support this as well. When we've got eye tracking here, it says eye tracking allows you to control your device using just your eyes. We're going to turn this on. Now it's going to make me calibrated by following a dot along the screen with just my eyes. Yes, I had to turn my phone toward my screen for this to work here. And there we go. And sorry about my camera. But this is actually very hard to do on a camera. Demo this. But you see when I move my eyes up and down, it moves the selector. So what I'm going to do now is show you guys how to select. You basically look at the app you want to select. Then hold that position. Just like that. That's basically how you open an app or select something. And look at the camera here. And see the slightest eye movement did offset it. Try to make a look at something else. But, and there we go. I just opened up the assistive touch. That's where I use the scrolling and device features for this eye tracking feature. It is quite interesting, actually. I would not recommend using it for typing. That's what I do not recommend. It's very hard to use right now because it's since this is the beta. It's very unstable. And there we go. I'm going to turn it off here. And there we go. So you guys see, eye tracking basically follows your eyes to see where you want to select. But the hardest part about using this, you actually have to hold that position that you're looking at for the entire time for it to select. Even the slightest movement can offset it, throwing it off center where you want to select something. So that's basically how you use eye tracking on iOS 18 or later. Pretty much it for this video. If you liked this video, give a video a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Peace out.